Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Ranjit again. You are Pathology Educated and Academy. So we are going to discuss the next question in the NEET PG 2021 which is asked. This question is kind of a link between many subjects, right? It has a link with the pediatrics. Maybe I can uh, have a, a look from the pediatric point of view. Okay, a person, a young kid coming with an hepatosplenomegaly and cytopenias. Next, I'm having a bone marrow involvement. In that, I'm having a classical appearance which is explained in the pathological point of view. And obviously, I have an enzyme which is asked, which must have been discussed in detail in your biochemistry point of view. I hope the questions in future are aligned like this. So that this is how an MBBS doctor while doing an internship must have been tuned to, right? I have an history. I'm going to look at the history. I'm going to write, okay, these are the investigations I want to evaluate this patient on. And based on my microscopic finding or your pathology or your biochemistry report, I know that, okay, this is the possible defect in this person. So I have come to a complete diagnosis, right? That's a perfect way to set a question. I am I'm actually very happy for the person who said this question. It's a very, very neatly set question, right? Now let's come to the question again. A 10 year old with an hepatosplenomegaly and cytopenias. Hepatosplenomegaly and cytopenias means the cytopenia as well as liver and spleen is involved. So which means there is a reticuloendothelial system involvement. When I say cytopenia, bone marrow is automatically involved. And the question also says that there's a bone marrow involvement which shows crumpled tissue paper appearance. This actually gives away everything, right? So I don't want anything else here. When I say a crumpled tissue paper appearance, automatically the diagnosis is going to be only one cautious disease, right? So clinically, I think of a story disorder, could be any other story disorder, neem and pig, gosher, many things. When I have a bone marrow spread, I have a crumpled tissue paper appearance, then I'm going to pinpoint to a gosher disease. So my question is not about gosher's. It is it is gosher's, but not directly gosher as a name, right? I have the amino, I have the enzyme defects is given here. And gosher's, we know that. And glucose erythrocytes divisions, right? It's a perfect question and an easy one as well. If you have such an integrated questions, I can assure you, it. If you think in a normal way, if a thought process is good, definitely it's going to help us, fine. So we look at the crumpled tissue paper appearance, as well as one more thing which can also be seen in the bone marrow, which is your Neiman pigs, Neiman pigs and Gaucher's. Both are storage disorders. Both can involve the bone marrow. Uh, many other storage disorder can involve the bone marrow. These two are a little bit more common, so I'm just going to show the images of these two alone, right? These are the two things here. One you can see here, the kosher is a classical crumpled tissue paper appearance. Both the images from, from American Society of Hematology, and we have to give the due credit from them. It's not my um, files, fine. So this disease here is my Neiman pig disease, all right? Yen here, and it's written Gaucher's here for sure, right? So you look at them, it's it's folded, right? It's actually like a crumpled tissue paper. When you look at Neiman pigs, one thing I can easily differentiate Neiman pig and Gaucher. Yeah, it's totally different. What I'm going to see in Neiman pigs is, I'm going to see lots of cholesterol. You can see the bubbly, bubbly cytoplasm, right? You can see all these are your cholesterol is green deposited. You have like vacuoles in the cytoplasm of the macrophage. Both they are macrophage because story disorder, macrophage becomes big, which ultimately results in your hepatosplenomegaly. fine. Gaucher's has ceramide accumulation. That ceramide gives you a crumpled tissue paper appearance. And Neiman pigs has bubbly cytoplasm is due to cholesterol defect because I have different types of Neiman pig can be due to sphingomyelin defect or an transport protein defect, NPC1 defect, that's your Neiman pick type 3 or type C, fine. Okay, we know how to differentiate a Neiman pick and Gaussian microscopy. I just want to add one more finding in Gaussian microscopy. See, what I want is thing is, Gaussian, the disease, the macrophage, on a microscopy, it's positive for acid fast basal like AFB stain. And that's why for many, many years, before the invent of Gaucher's disease, it was considered and treated as tuberculosis, right? It was positive for AFP, it's positive for acid phosphatase. These, are, these might also be a confounding factor coming to a diagnosis. So when you keep in mind, you can have the same question, which has changed finding saying that I had a huge macrophage with a crumpled appearance, which was positive for acid phosphatase. So don't think it has tuberculosis. It can still be cautious because cautious macrophages are positive for acid fast basal. It might help you in upcoming exams, fine? So that's up, that's about this question. It's a simple and a straightforward one, fine? Thank you for your time. Do download the N Academy app and we'll have lots of free lectures lined up for you guys so that you can prepare for your upcoming exams, fine? And if you have any change in this question or any question or whatever doubts you have, do comment here, like and subscribe to the video and follow the channel for the entire uh, series of discussions which is which I'm going to be basing on the NEAT PGT call. Fine. Thank you for your time. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Rock Transit. Bye-bye.